Today I will explain the electron transport chain, which is a process of cellular respiration. It occurs in the mitochondria of both animal and plant cells, and it is important for ATP synthesis during oxidative phosphorylation. In electron transport chain, electrons are utilized to generate proton gradient. You will be wondering from where these electrons come from. Let me tell you this. The glycolysis process and the Krebs cycle produce nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide and flavin adenine dinucleotide, which carry high energy electrons. These electrons are used in electron transport chain that occur in the inner mitochondrial membrane. Let's zoom into the inner membrane of mitochondria where electron transport chain occurs. This is the outer membrane of mitochondria. The space between these membranes is called intermembrane space. And the inside of mitochondria is the mitochondrial matrix. Electron transport chain involves a series of electron carriers and protein complexes. The four major complexes are complex 1, complex 2, complex 3 and complex 4. There are also two small electron carriers known as ubiquinone and cytochrome C that are important for the process. The process begins when NADH from the mitochondrial matrix binds to the matrix side of complex 1 also known as NADH dehydrogenase and the NADH dehydrogenase removes two electrons from NADH which then gets oxidized to NAD+. The electrons are then received by a prostatic group flavin mononucleotide or FMN. Upon receiving these electrons, FMN is reduced to FMNH2. These electrons are then transferred through a series of iron sulfur clusters within the complex 1, finally reaching ubiquinone or coenzyme Q which is a lipid-soluble electron carrier that moves freely within the inner mitochondrial membrane. Energy is released as electrons move through complex 1. This energy is used to pump protons from mitochondrial matrix into intermembrane space. Complex 2, also known as succinate dehydrogenase, which also functions in the citric acid cycle or Krebs cycle, where it oxidizes succinate to fumarate, reducing FAD to FADH2. Electrons are passed on to iron sulfur center and transferred to ubiquinone or coenzyme Q. But complex 2 cannot pump protons into intermembrane space like complex 1 because FADH2 Reduction release less energy than reduction of NADH. This ubiquinone carries electrons from the complex 1 and complex 2 and is reduced to ubiquinol. Ubiquinol then moves and transport electrons to complex 3. Complex 3 or Q cytochrome C oxidoreductase is composed of cytochrome B, cytochrome C1 and the risky iron sulfur protein complex. Ubiquinol gets attached to complex 3 and delivers electrons. These electrons from ubiquinol follows two pathways in complex 3. One electron is transferred to the iron sulfur group of risky center and then passes to the heme group of cytochrome C1. From here the electrons are transferred to cytochrome C. The other electron doesn't follow this path because cytochrome C can only accept one electron, so it cannot accommodate another electron. The other electron coming from the ubiquinol pass through cytochrome B and recycle back to reduce ubiquinone, which is used again. While this process happens, complex 3 pumps protons into the intermembrane space. Now upon receiving electrons, Cytochrome C gets reduced. It then attaches to complex 4. Complex 4 or cytochrome oxidase consists of cytochrome A and cytochrome A3 and two copper centers, copper A and copper B. 
the two electrons are transferred from two cytochrome C molecules to copper A center one by one, then to cytochrome A and then cytochrome A3. The two electrons reduce both cytochrome A3 and copper B. These reduced form metals binds oxygen molecule forming peroxide bridge between cytochrome A3 and copper B. When additional two electrons from other two cytochrome C and protons from matrix are transferred, the peroxide bridge breaks forming hydroxides. Other two protons are entered to form two molecules of water. During this process, four protons are pumped from matrix to intermembrane space by complex 4. As electrons move through complexes 1, 3, and 4, the energy is used to pump protons from the mitochondrial matrix to the intermembrane space, creating proton gradient. Protons are used for ATP synthesis during chemiosis, which I will discuss in another video. So do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.